What is up, you guys? This is I, Super Sega Ultra 1997 here. And I thought I'd do yet another updated PlayStation 2 collection as of July 2021. Now, it's been about over a year since I've done the the first PS2 collection video I did, which was all the way back in, um, in June, which was like a little over a year ago now. And then there's also the 20th anniversary PS2 collection I did back in October when the system turned 20. Uh, when the system turned 20, like a couple months back. But now it's time for the 2021 version of this collection. As you can see, this is my Fat Boy PS2. Now, now believe it or not, I bought this bad boy for about 20 bucks in 2016 at a swap meet. And it works really good. It works like it's brand new, actually. Only thing is there's no, like, Ethernet, Ethernet like, port to cover this whole back part of it, though. But, yeah, other than that, this plays games just fine, actually. Plays games just fine. So, um, yeah, my fat boy PS2. I got that. I'm not even going to bother showing the controllers and stuff this time because that's already, like, put away. And the cords are, like, plugged in. So I'm not even going to bother with any of that this time around. So, um, without further ado, um, let's get to the games. Games, games, games. Um, first game we got, we might have some games that don't have the cover art. It's just disc only. The first game we have, this is um, Wizardry, the the land of the forsake, the tale of the forsaken land. Now, this game apparently is kind of a rarity on the PS2. Like, a complete in-box copy goes for, like, hundreds or maybe $200. What really was disappointing about this, though, is that this game does not work. Yeah, so 30 bucks all for nothing, basically. Next one we got is um, Lego Star Wars, um, the video game. This is basically the prequel movies of Star Wars, but but on the PS2 and also, and also in Lego form. So, um, yeah, um, I think at the time when this came out, um, this came out in 2005, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Right around the time that the third prequel movie, Revenge of the Sith, I believe that one was called. Um, right around the time that movie came out, but, um, yeah, I have it. Um, haven't played, haven't beaten it, though. Haven't played it. ATV Off-Road Fury 2, which I got for $2.99. That's some good stuff. Now, this is another rarity, and I have yet to play it. I am really curious of playing this. This was given to me by my friend Mo. And this is Magical Pinel Quest for the... Quest for the... The Quest for Color. Um, have not played it, but this is also another rarity on the PS2. This is one that you don't see very often, I don't think. Uh, it's not really that rare, I don't think, but you don't see this one, like, that often. Like, in fact, if you go on eBay, you can find this one for, like, around 50, between 50 to 100 so dollars. So, I have that. Um, Beach Volleyball Summer Heat. Pretty alright game, but it's really, really hard for me. I don't know why, but it is. Mafia 1, haven't played it, but I hear good things about it. Rugrats Royal Ransom, shit, don't play it. It's fucking terrible, actually. Smackdown vs. Raw 2006, which is actually not Smackdown vs. Raw 2006. This is um, the first Smackdown vs. Raw from 2005. So, I have that one. Alright, I'm going to get these games right out here. Alright. Alright, we got Enter the Matrix. Um, we used to play it on GameCube. Um, we liked it as kids, but now it's just not very good. Um, full, full Spectrum Warrior. Hadn't gone into it. Didn't get into that game. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I like the first one better, the best, and I have that one on GameCube. Spider-Man, the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. If you're going to get this game, get it on either OG, Xbox, or GameCube. This version is very choppy. I'm not going to lie. That version is extremely choppy. Robotech Battle Cry, um, one of the few anime games I got. I didn't really get into this game, but I do want to give the, the Robotech anime a watch one day. Uh, Need for Speed, uh, Most Wanted. And we got some games right here. We got over here, we have Tekken 5, Tekken 4, Tekken Tag Tournament, which this one doesn't work that that well, unfortunately, but I have it. Um, Onimusha 3, Onimusha 2, and Onimusha 1. I'm missing Oni, there is, Onimusha 1. I'm missing Dawn of Dreams, but I do want to get around to buying that. 
DOA2 Hardcore, which is pretty good. I actually prefer the Dreamcast version now, even though despite this version having a little bit more content in the Dreamcast version, uh, they're, 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 it's still a good game on both systems. Jet Li, Rise to Honor. This game is frustrating as hell. Oh my god, this game was fucking hard. But I have it. Me and my brother used to get frustrated at that game all the fucking time. But believe me. King Kong, the, the official game of the movie. Um, Soul Calibur 3. Soul Calibur 2. Kingdom Hearts 2. Alright, we get some more stuff right here. Some more games. Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, Ace Combat 4 Shattered Sights. Uh, I didn't really get into that game. Dragon Ball C Budokai 2. Budokai 1. I'm missing I'm missing Budokai 3 and the other and the Tenkaichi games, but I do want to get those eventually. I am, I mean I do want to buy those at some point, but we'll see. Uh, we got GTA Liberty City Stories. I need Vice City. San Andreas. That's an all-time classic. You can never go wrong with GTA San Andreas. This game is actually a meme now, considerably. And GTA 3. Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon, the premium edition. This game fucking sucks, guys. I honestly don't like that game. It's just terrible. Don't play it. Mortal Kombat Deception, a better 3D Mortal Kombat game. I don't have Deadly Alliance on PS2, but I have that on Xbox and GameCube. Uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Okay version, but if you are going to get this collection, I highly recommend the OG Xbox more. But if you, but if for some reason you can't get a hold of that version, then I go with the PS2 one as the second best. I would go with either two of those versions. Stay away from the GameCube version because the GameCube version of this game has been known to um, have like glitches and emulated emulation issues. So yeah, if you're gonna get this collection, get it on either OG Xbox or GameCube. I'm just saying. Metal Gear Solid uh, Three Snake Eater. For a time, at one point, I didn't have the actual game. Then I actually got around to buying an actual disc for it. And you know what? It's okay. I haven't literally gone into it all that much. And Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, just disc only. That's also really good. Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I know I got some comment. I got some, like, comments on my... La on my on my uh, other PS2 collection I did a year ago. Where I said this game sucks. Some guy got so mad at me for for dissing this game that he was like, "Oh, you don't know, you don't know shit about anything. This game is awesome." And you know what? I stand by my my opinions even to this day. I fucking hate this game. If you don't like the fact that I don't like it, then guess what? You can go suck my you can go you can go suck my dick for all I care. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, um, that's that. Um, all right. On to the next pile of games. We got Ninja Assault. Scorpion King Rise of the Acadian. This game sucks. I love the first movie, but this game is terrible. Even though as bad as this game may be, I'd rather play this than to watch any of the sequel movies, that's for sure, because the sequels suck. They suck. Final Fantasy X-2. Still, to this day, I have not yet played. I only got this for, like, fucking five bucks at, uh, at Goodwill one time. For five dollars, hey, you, know, you can't go wrong with that. And same with this one, Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy X-1, which I got for five bucks at the swap meet. Then we got um, NBA Ballers. Um, all right, not as good as NBA Jam, I don't think, but um, uh, I still thought it was a pretty decent game. Title Legends One. To this day, I have still have not gotten Title Legends Two. I think that one's a better compilation only because I think that one has better games on it. Yeah, but but the games that are on here though they're still pretty good the games on here are still pretty good it's just that uh title legends 2 has more games on it like my favorite game on here actually believe it or not is the arcade version of thunder fox and, Ni and ninja kids those two games are my favorite games on here and of course the original space invaders is on here too but if you're gonna get this one get this for ninja kids ninja kids is a really good game definitely try that one out Jack 3. Um, unfortunately, my copy doesn't work all that well, so that sucks. Um, Jack 2, which I still have yet to play. And Jack 1. And just like um, just like the other two games, this one doesn't really work on my PS2, which is a bummer. 
which I only got this for like for like five bucks as well. So there's that. Now we're down to the shit. We're down to a couple more games. So just let me bear with us. Let me just get some of these shits out here. And hold on. I think we're down to our final games. So you kind of want to bear with us for a sec. Um, Call of Duty um, 2, Big Red 1. Call of Duty Finest Hour. And I have Call of Duty 3 on here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there they are. Let me just get these games up here. Um, Call of Duty World at War. Um, f uh, Final Fronts. Um, this is basically a watered-down version of uh, World at War that came out on the PS3 and 360. I have those versions, though. Believe me, I have those versions. Call of Duty 3. Pac-Man 2. Uh, Pac-Man World 2. Grant, alright, um, let me put these games right here for a sec. Gran Turismo 3, a spec. Um, okay, driving, racing simulator. I only got it for, like, $4, so I got it for really cheap at Goodwill. And it works just fine on my actual PS2. Now, this is, this is actually Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. I still have yet to gotten the one on, to get the one on the Turbo Graphic 16 or PC Engine, and and maybe the one on the ones on Super Nintendo, the one on the Mega Drive, and um, some some of the PS1 ones as well. Well, even even the new one that came out like a few years ago on the PS4, um, that that Fire Pro Wrestling game. Yeah, this series goes all the way back to even Turbo Graphics slash PC Engine. And this is a pretty good game. Uh, but I don't think you see this one very often. But it's actually a decent game. Wrestling game. Ed, Ed and Eddie The Misadventures. I loved this game as a kid. Still do to this very day. I love the show. But this game actually hadn't aged all that great. I don't think this game aged very well. But, you know. Um, it does bring me back to a time when um, Cartoon Network used to be really good. Really watchable with their, with their programming and their content. Nowadays they're just they're just pure ass cheeks to me, but um, anyway um, yeah um, Ed, Ed and Eddie we used me we used to play this one on GameCube many many years ago I believe that was a Christmas of two thousand and five gift from like my dad or whatever, which I actually rebought this again on PS two in twenty sixteen for three dollars and for three dollars you can't go wrong with that if it was like more than three dollars if it was like twenty bucks I would have passed on it. All right, next one we got is um Lord of, Lord of the uh Lord of the Rings Return of the King, I believe. Just like Ed and Eddie and some other games, we used to own this one on GameCube. And actually, I forgot to mention uh the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man game we used to have on GameCube many years ago as well. But that was like that was also, I believe, a 2000. It was either a 2004 or 2005 Christmas gift. Anyways, um Next game, we're only down to a few more games left, so bear with us. Next game, we got is True Crime Street, uh, True Crime, ugh, True Crime New York City. Um, not as good as Streets of L.A. from what I know, but um, I heard not a lot of people really like this one all that much. Um, I had it, I got it for free from my friend Mo, you know. So um, yeah. True Crime, uh, Streets of L.A. I gotta really get around to beating this game one day. But this game is awesome. This game is really fucking awesome. Great game, actually. Definitely check this one out. If, if you were gonna buy this game, get it on either OG Xbox. Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the OG Xbox version. I think that version's graphically the best version, in my personal opinion. I know this also came out on GameCube. The GameCube version looks okay. And this one also is okay looking too, but I think I think the OG Xbox version had the best graphics out of all these versions, in my personal opinion. So there's that. Devil May Cry Part 1. I need to get Part 3 and Part 2, even though not a lot of people liked Part 2. SOCOM 2, uh, Navy SEALs. Um, I didn't really quite get into this one, but I have it. It's complete, and um, I think I got this one at a flea market. Um, we got Dynasty Warriors 4. This was also a good little pickup from 2016. I still have it. Alright, three more games. Um, Family Guy, the video game, in really atrocious condition. Look how bad the condition is. Look, 
look how shitty con the condition is but i got it for like a dollar i believe so yeah i got it for a dollar family got a video game uh, it was okay i didn't really quite get into that and besides family guy ha hasn't been good in free hasn't been good in years so there's that um open season the cheapest ps2 game i ever got and you wouldn't believe how much i bought this motherfucker for I bought this I bought this game for fucking 99 cents. No fucking joke. 99 fucking cents and that's the only reason why I have it to this day. Picked it up in 2016 for 99 cents at a place called Frankenson's I used to, I go to I used to go to a lot like before the pandemic, but um yeah, uh open season. And last but most certainly not least for the PS2, we have SSX, the original SSX um i bought this at a goodwill for not that much money i have it it's pretty all right it's all right for what it is so um yeah as you can see it's complete and everything and just like that that about covers it for my entire playstation 2 collection so um this has been um super sega ultra 1997 here saying signing out guys and see you on my next video um, I don't know what my next video is. I'm debating whether or not my next video should be a pickup video or it should be, um, it should be either a pickup video or games I find better on the Super Nintendo than I do on the Genesis. Or maybe, well, I will tell you the next collection video will be my updated, my updated Genesis collection. I'm just waiting on a few more games to get. Anyways, this has been Super Sega Ultra 97 here saying, signing out.